What's going on everyone? So we got some great news and some not so great news in my opinion all wrapped up in one announcement. So from season four is official. Uh, there have been rumors kind of going around uh, that from wants to do at least two more seasons. So at least season four and season five. Obviously, if they can go longer, I'm pretty sure they'll go longer. But we'll touch on that here in a moment. Um, but per the reports, uh, MGM Plus has renewed its hit sci-fi horror series from for a 10 episode fourth season uh, created by John Griffin, creator, uh, executive produced uh, by Griffin, showrunner Jeff Pinkner, uh, Lost, Alias, Fringe, and director Jack Bender, Lost, Game of Thrones. The series unravels the mystery of a nightmarish town that traps all those who enter. Uh, From is set to return to production in Nova Scotia in 2025 and premiere in 2026. So again, all wrapped up in the one uh, beautiful bow of news, we get good and bad news. The good news is we're getting a fourth season. I, again, they have kind of speculated or, or have had hopes that there would be at least two more seasons, that they want to go at least to season five. Obviously, if the show is good and it's having success and, you know, things are working out and still has the following that it currently has and maybe even bigger, then they'll probably keep going, right? I mean, we've seen lots of shows. My favorite show ever, Supernatural, was originally only supposed to go five seasons. They had a story for season five, and then it was so good and... The you know, it had such high viewership that they continued to do it, and next thing you know, it had 15 seasons. So, um, I do believe that they'll go along with From as long as they can. Uh, which again, I've always said, like, I'm fine. Like, if you want to do 10 seasons, do 10 seasons as long as it's good, as long as it's quality, right? We've seen a lot of shows where it's like, you know, you, you get to season, they they had a clear plan through five seasons. And then they get to season six, and it's like they have no clue what they want to do, how they want to do it, where they want to go, anything like that, right? And that can be a problem in and of itself. Um, but as long as you're giving us quality production and you're giving us a good series that we can all continue to enjoy, you know, if you can tell a good story beyond five seasons, then why why wouldn't I want that, right? Or if you could kind of like, you know, say you complete this iteration in five seasons, Right with with these characters that we fell in love with and have grown with, and then you know you do a new uh, like group of characters and new stories and stuff like that. like you could do this idea from forever if you wanted to. Right, it's just can you make sure that you're putting together a quality product? As long as you're doing that, I'm on board for as long as as long as possible. But um, the bad news is that it's not coming out till 2026. Now, we don't have a confirmed actual return date. Like, you know, like, is it May 2026 or is it January 2026 or is it October 2026, right? Because let's say it comes out in, like, January of 2026. Well, then, fine, right? Like, that's, it's basically a year, right? Because this year is almost over. It'd be like a year and a month, you know, or a year and two months. Like, sure, right? Not a big deal. However, if it's, you know, say October of 2026, like this show was like, or late September, you're talking two years in between, right? Like that's not good. We have seen franchises and shows literally uh, self-destruct themselves by doing that, by having such a long hiatus in between that people don't care, right? So season, season three is probably going to end on a, some type of cliffhanger, right? Because they know that they're getting another season. So I don't see this this season wrapping up in such a pretty nice bow. Also, there are so many things <laughs> that you have to unpack and unravel in this season still. There is no zero shot. You're going to be able to unravel and unpack everything that you need to unpack in one episode. Zero shot, right? So... This is going to end, this season is going to end with a lot of questions and uh, very few answers and, you know, very likely kind of set up and establish the, the beginning of season four. I'm like, that's fine, right? Like we all, like, that's the beauty of the show is the mystery, is the kind of allure, right? Of what's going to happen. But if we got to wait two years for the resolution of 
whatever this cliffhanger is, which is probably going to be crazy, right? As you can imagine, because the past two seasons have been pretty crazy. Um, you got to imagine that this season's probably going to end pretty wild, right? So you're going to end this season on some like crazy cliffhanger. And then we're going to have to wait two years. By that point, no one cares. By that point, you've lost all your momentum. By that point, another show or another thing has already came on and people have lost the interest, right? Like, you can run the risk of completely losing your franchise, right? Like, if you have a chance to, to do five, six, seven, eight seasons, you got to be on top of this, you know? Like, because again, people, people have short attention spans. The next hot thing will be right around the corner. And guess what? When that hot thing is right around the corner, everyone's going to go jump to that thing, and then you're going to be an afterthought, right? I mean, you're going to have the diehards, and you're going to have people, you know, like myself that are making content along the way. Like, believe me, I'm not going to stop making from videos, right? Like, th I'm, trust me, I'm sure there'll be a million. I could probably make 10 theories a day, every day for the next two years, and still probably never run out of content, right? Because this show just gives you and provides so much. So I'm not worried about, like, you know, the fans and the diehards and, you know, content creators and stuff like that. Like, we're going to keep try to keep it alive to the best of our ability. But the problem is, is that the everyday fan, you know, not everybody's watching my videos or other videos and are in the loop. That Like, the casual audience, which is usually the majority, right? The casual audience, they just want to see the show. They don't care about theories and ideas and rundowns and stuff like that. Yes, there's a lot of us that do. And that's what makes it so passionate, right? That's what makes it so great. That's what makes, you know, the, the community that we're building so wonderful because you it is like, you know, like a, almost like a club, right? It's like a, you know, a secret club that only the, the, the cool kids get to hang out in, right? Like all the ones that are like diehards for the show. But again, like in the grand scope of things, you know, it's, it's very few and far between for all things, right? Like, again, I doc scream. I have a big scream following and stuff like that here on this channel, right? And like I always say, I always remind even that, you know, when I'm making those videos, people, you know, comment and be like, oh yeah, but you know, like the fans wouldn't allow it. And it's just like, you don't, under you don't underestimate the value of the casual audience, right? Because that's the majority. The majority aren't, you know, aren't getting riled up because this, because they got to wait two years. The majority are like, ah, you know, I'll just watch it whenever it comes out, right? Like, but that's not good. You want to keep people invested. You want to keep people engaged, right? And, and you want to, you have this hype and momentum that has built up, right? Like you've had this, this roller coaster of a thing where, you know, each season you've gotten and attracted more and more and more and more of a following. And now you are just, you're, you're at a peak. Why would you want to have any type of hiatus, any type of hiatus in that time. I don't, I don't get it. It just, it seems illogical to me. Now, again, maybe it comes out, you know, whatever in January, February of 2026, and then it's not a big deal, but I, chances are they're probably going to have this come out mid to late 2026. So you're talking again, you're talking a year and a half to two years by the time that this next season comes out, it's a big risk. I really hope that that, that this does, I really hope that this doesn't end up leading to season four being the final season, especially when you had all this momentum. We've seen it before. There have been franchises that have had, I mean, even higher, even bigger product, even bigger audiences and whatnot, and make that mistake of, oh, well, we let's, let's, take a year or two and really kind of, and it just bites him in the butt. And I really hope that that's not the case here. I really hope we're not looking at something where it's like, Oh, you know, we, we, we just blew the opportunity that we had to really pioneer this franchise and make this a huge thing. Like, I don't know. It's, it's incredibly frustrating in my opinion that, that we're doing this, that we're going to have this long of a hiatus. And again, maybe, maybe it won't be as long as, as, it appears, right? Maybe it'll be, you know, because we're like, it's like, we're not even in 2025 yet. <laughs> and you're talking about, oh, it's, it's going to come out in 2026. It's like, um, excuse me, right? But, you know, patience, I guess, is a thing. You know, we got to, we got to remain patient and hopefully it all works out. But, you know, they're, they're going to resolve 
I imagine the the Fatima storyline, and I'm sure you'll get a couple resolutions here. But you know as well as I do, we're going to get a lot more questions. You know as well as I do that there's going to be a lot of things that are still going to be very open-ended that we're going to have a lot of concern on, and we're all going to have like different theories and ideas and conversations. It's going to be up to us. It's going to be up to us, the fandom, to, to kind of keep this driving and keeping this, you know, keeping this hype train going. You know, we're going to have to try to carry this to the best of our ability, you know, because I want more seasons. I don't want season four to be the final season. I like I don't want to get through 2026 and it's like, oh, man, we have nothing to, you know, look forward to in the in the world of from. I mean, obviously, there's always going to be another show. There's always going to be another film. There's always going to be another thing, you know, because, you know, so from even like a content perspective, like it's fine. There, there's always going to be that that thing to talk about. But I love this show. I'm passionate about this show. You know, I've, I'm working very hard to, to build a, a community here of from because I am so passionate about the show and I do love the show so much and I want to see it have its success. You know, but you just, I just feel like you're, you're, you're going, they're going about this terribly wrong, terribly. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion and I pass question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Uh, do you agree? Do you think like, yes, they're making a huge mistake here? Do you think, no, it'll be okay. It'll work out. No big deal. Um, we can wait. We can be patient. Um, again, however you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me not. Let me enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one.